Well, we're here in the uh, master bathroom, taking a look at the master tub. A couple little things we found going on here. Uh, one for starters, uh, the access panel in the front has been completely sealed, caulked through, so there's no real way of, of taking it off. Um, besides that, there's already cracks along the front from previous attempts to remove the cover. So at this point, um, we do not want to go ahead and remove it to cause any, any further damage. However, this does limit the evaluation of the tub. Um, so we can't see the pump. We cannot see any of the piping or if there are any leaks going on down below. So uh, in this case, what I would do is just fill it and just at least make sure that all the jets in the system is cir circulating the water properly um, and infusing the air correctly. Um, another thing to note is that there is no sealant around the outside of the tub on the, on the base of the wall, which could allow water to uh, penetrate and intrude in that wall cavity and cause, uh, cause fungal issues. Well, when uh, we're looking at the sinks, um, obviously we're checking the water flow and checking that you got hot and cold water to it. Um, in this case, the hot water is reversed. In other words, you, when you turn on the cold water, you're getting hot. When you get to hot, you're getting cold. Um, also then we'll let the water run for a while and check the drain pipes down below. Um, obviously you're looking for leaks, which there are none in this particular instance, but we do find this uh, flexible pipe, flexible pipe fitting. Uh, that corrugated piping should not be used. That's uh, used for basically a temporary or emergency repair. Um, but uh, drain piping should have a smooth bore interior so that uh, it doesn't trap any sediment and allows it to uh, drain properly. These are subject to, to leaks, so you definitely want to recommend replacement of that pipe.